not coming out again. Death. Don't sit late. Hope the ghost will appear and let it drive us crazy anymore. Ah, there's something about rescue rangers. We must do anything from exorcism, bomb, uh, bomb disposal unit, uh, anti feline criminal control. What are we doing here? Never mind, but when it comes to, let's say, cartoon, that's what I expect. You will be, let's say, doing a lot of things just to make the story go on. So, for rescue rangers, the story can go in various ways. And now we are coming to a place where technically we can choose a level of fire. Let's say there are two, three key control rooms over here, and then you see there are three places we need to go. And we are get the choice to choose where to go first, but actually there's no difference over here because imagine you need let's go to all three of places. So we go to the clock tower first. Remind me of the horror game clock tower. Will we be seeing Caesar Man? I have no idea. Wow, this is one hell of a clock tower with a lot of home. There are even let's say more workers here that can pop up here and there. Now let's see who's coming. Oh, I'm disappointed. I was expecting season man. I wasn't expecting an ostrich that shoots wheels off it. It's a, let's say legs. And, why are you riding a wheel for God no good reason? This this is hilarious, guys. And don't ask me who is this character. I have no idea who it is. And since it's a children's game, you can see I can just hide the corner. And he's not gonna hurt me. Yeah. Just stay in the corner and that's the that his, his projectiles never go far enough for me. Although they are fixed projectiles yeah, I cannot use, but that, that's the matter. And time to time again, he will choose, choose different ways of attacking me. Now I'm quite certain he's a she over here. Because usually ostriches are seldom portrayed as female characters over here. And you can see my heart is in, front, in the larger ship, right? That means there are five hearts over here. That means I've collected a lot of this art out. Which I say, let's say, be kind of, let's say, useful in the future. Just let you know, when I'm playing this game, you need to collect icons that will be useful for you. Okay, we are going to the Wild Wild West. There are a lot of powder boxes here. Yeah, why not? I think all boys and all girls. And yeah, some don't like characters are a little bit repeated here. But that's fine, that's fine. They only, let's say, come out in a few times when they do fit their little scenario over here. Yeah, you do expect to see bugs over here and what do I find thing? Oh, a card dealer. So you'll be throwing cards at me, right? Yep, I think you'll be throwing cards at me. Yeah, card thrower. <laughs> of course, there's definitely one card I can pick up and let's say give it back to him. And you do notice the cat, right? Definitely one of, let's say, fat cat's henchmen. So I'm fi fighting, uh, let's say, a card dealer. It reminds me a lot of Chinese movies where we do with gambling and the so-called let's say gambling king or let's say the hero has the ability of let's say using card as his weapon semi throwing cards to cut people's fingers or let's say kill people or, let's say by slashing their necks by basically using a reach of cards. Can is that possible? Based on what I found actually that is not possible. I mean the card does not have the mass of velocity to do that. And furthermore, a flying car actually loses momentum when they reach a very short distance far away. So you're using this as a projector weapon is never a good idea. You only cook what cools on movies and you know movies are all fake. Not for this case, right? Yeah, I know. And I believe the card can actually be that the power is not very strong, but right? He should be dead. Oh yeah, good, he's dead now. Now let's go to the last area which is the science lab. Yeah, the future world. The other science lab, what they expect. This is actually a Japanese game being changed straight to English, that's why some of the translation doesn't make sense. So let's see what we're finding here. Yeah, collecting as many arts as possible because this is how the game works. Collecting stuff and throwing stuff, collecting stuff, throwing stuff, collecting other bricks and throw all of them. Yeah, that's what I do. Annoying, right? Oh, the Mo is back here. Does make sense of it's a future and oh we have a psychotic electric shock guy who can be immune when he's in electric shock never mind just take him out okay let's see what we have in the future well which is a giant crane dropping bricks at me okay never mind as usual as long as you remember the movements memorize the movements you can let's say defeat them easily Okay, just wait for a chance and throw the break. Yeah, Dale got one glitch over here I need to mention. At certain situations, he can throw the break diagonally, which Chip cannot do it. This is why a lot of professional players, or let's say old time players who know this game, 
will pick deal for this reason not because the deal is stupid or what but there's one thing i don't know what kind of glitch it has but deal is the character that can throw the break diagonally which works very well here and there are certain times you really want to let's say hope your projectile move in a side way it's not up not left right not down but in a side which allows you to let's say cause more damage or let's say make your let's say hit your target out in the let's say funny or just like okay, him he surrendered he didn't even bother to die okay with all of the keys now we can go and deal with fat cat let's use the key okay simple take the key open the goddamn door and here we go Okay, the rescue ranger here. Yeah, he's gone. Where is go? And I'd be fair, guys. This is never a good idea. I mean, we are a couple of rats. Chipmunks are rats. And as rodents, I don't think it's a good idea to go after a cat. Hmm, never mind. So we are in a high tech place fighting fat cat. Whoa, there he is fat cat. I wonder what he's gonna do. Okay, now we get away fat cat. You see that? Oh, we can surrender by dog. We surrender. What's he gonna do? I throw a pen. A fat cat robot. A fat, a mechanized fat cat. Okay, let's have a look at what that thing looks. And just as you know, he's come out. It's a break timing with all the lights shut off, and he will appear. Whoa! Just look at that. That's intimidating. I never know you can go back out vision this. And how do you defeat Fat Cat? Just that you know the way of defeating Fat Cat is kinda of hilarious. And also need a little skill. Okay, he's taking off, he's just for him, he's for him. Okay, notice the danger sign, right? That means where he will land and that is his weapon. The weapon you will use. And throwing that onto Fat Cat does not work because it just bounces away. You need to throw it at a time where it let's say explode on him. So is this level tough? Not really, right? Okay, just show you how this is in throw. You wait for it, then you throw at the right moment. You need to throw at the right moment, and that's it. And eventually, Fat Cat will make a very stupid and suicidal mistake, which you see just now. No, he didn't make a mistake. Am I just letting go? Oh, he made a mistake now. Right? He dropped the bomb so close to him that actually will let's say caught let's say, hurt him the time, which makes it easier to just make sure you avoid him. Don't get hit by his projectile. And who is good at state. Now, this one the case. Just drop the bomb here. Uh, and the metal ball is kind of tough because it's very hard to protect where it goes. But eventually you will get it, it's not that tough. Nah, see? Being suicidic. I have no idea if Fat Cat's robot got any brains or not. Maybe he's using a Win 2.5. And Alright, he's not dead yet, but I mean part of his body is being shattered. Show progress, showing progress. Now that's why I like this game, you can see there's a lot of let's say, intense moments and there are a lot of farming moments like this and see, when he's damaged he can shoot off fires for no good reason showing that he's damaged and let you know the fires actually damage you which is not a big threat, the only metal ball is threat, other things are kind of okay Oh, uh, doing the same thing again I can't recall how many times I let him kill himself by doing this I just keep on letting him doing this and you're done, maybe the last ball is gonna kill himself right? And that happens, that will be fucking hilarious. Really, that will be bloody hilarious if that happens. Alright, yeah, never mind. When the far lane, you need to pick up the ball and throw at him. Okay, there you go. Now, where we drop the ball is usually the time where he lift up, but where we come down, that is very hard for you to say. See? Gotta pick up the ball. Alright, throw him. Throw it now. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Oh, metal ball again. Oh, it seems that like you really can read his movement, it's not that tough. Alright, come on, Fat Cat. Oh, simple. Just drop on your bomb and get yourself bombed, that's easy. Oh, that was the final piece of the plot. That was stupid, right? But boy, the design of the ball was nice. Okay. Oh, this place is gonna blow. So we have to run? So do you have a running sequence of this? Oh, right, take ourselves, that's fine. Hey. And we really need to run, why don't we just call Gadget and fly in with a flying machine? Oh, damn, we didn't have it. Now, don't worry, I think we made it out. Anyway, that is Chip and Deal's Rescue Rangers. A better game than the first game, but sadly, there's no third game. 
although I heard it did appear but it was not in the NDS which is a shame and I heard that was a bootleg games. Speaking of bootleg games, do you ever wonder what bootleg Disney games look like? Maybe you just find one. Although I'm not very sure are those bootleg games but they do look like that. We'll see you then, okay? Bye bye.